Well, hello, everybody. It's me, Sassy Stacy, and I'm here this evening with the lovely Annie, and she's going to help me unpack this snack crate. What a terrible job. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> you do as you should. Like, who wants to try snacks from Morocco? Nobody, right? Sure. So this is, I haven't gotten a snack crate in a while, so this is pretty exciting for me. And uh, I've had it for almost two weeks and I have yet to try it. So I did sneak a peek. You can't, you can't blame a girl for sneaking a peek. So this guy's from Morocco. You get beautiful artistry on this snack crate. Wonderful. This is about $20. Can you believe it? Wow. Oh, I, I thought it'd be more from Morocco. No, they're all the same price. <laughs> but like you can get different tiers, so I was getting a $40 box, it was a little bigger and it came with pop, but then I was like, man, that's a lot. This There's like a dozen treats in there. To do a video of a dozen treats is a bit long, yeah. and you guys agree, I know we do. <laughs> Let's see, fun facts. Green tea sweetened with sugar and mint leaves is also known as Berber whiskey, the most popular beverage in Morocco. They like the coffee Irish, is what they're trying to say in another way. You want to read one, one of those on sure. the there? Morocco is the only Islamic country in which women's rights are preserved in the constitution to ensure their utmost importance in society. Well, you know, I, know, I think it's really great that they like, that they leave fun facts about mm. the country that the candy's from yeah. and maybe even sometimes the origin oh, itself. Your, your mind's about to get blown with oh, what's in this. I can't wait. Yes. And I'll read just <laughs> one more. <laughs> The traditional form of Morocco housing is a Riyadh, often, often boasts of two or more stories and features a garden and a courtyard in the middle. Schwanky, schwanky. And then they give you a, a little QR code as well so you can listen to the jams of Morocco. But I don't know if we've got a copyright issue, so we don't do that in these videos. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look at what we got. We got. All right. Cornicos, which look like bugles. Yeah, next. I love bugles. Oh, goat fromage. Goat, I wonder if it's group fromage. Goat is like mm -hmm. Spanish, I don't know. Um, this one's leader chips, kebab. It's supposed to taste like kebab, so that should be really interesting. Five dollars says it tastes like roast chicken flavored chips. Or roast beef, I'm more roast beef. Yeah. Yes, okay. All right, so then, ooh, sandwich chalk. It's a, Soft like a pig Newton. Oh my god, there's yes. so many treats here. I'm so excited. <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? Uh, we got a twist. It's by, made by um, Bleakus. Oh, Bleakus, yes. 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 Dwist. Uh, twist. I've had hundreds of those. <laughs> this one is vanilla. Ooh, it says there's four of them. Oh, there's two. One for each hand for each of us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now you're thinking. Happens <laughs> one. Biggie Chalk. You thought Biggie Smalls was something. I'm, I'm more excited about Biggie Chalk. And I have a feeling that's probably what I would have called Biggie's Chalk, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so did I am. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my, I was super excited about this one. I got a sneak peek before the video today. She snuck a peek. And Genova Double Creme. I'm wondering if mm, that because tastes it's... delicious. I think so. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You never know. Sometimes the chocolate's not fantastic from these countries. <laughs> All right. So gives you a card with a recipe and what kind of drink you would have gotten had you paid the extra money. And then there's the actual recipe for the picture on the front. And then a little description of all the candies. Isn't that fun? That's that's a blast. Yes. Pick one that we have. And I will pick it from the pile. Ooh. Decisions, decisions. Yes. Um. Let's go with the Genova. The, the one that I just Oh. All right. She likes to start with the best one first. <laughs> I can't. I have impulse Beauty, control issues. The red Smarties first. Listen, I eat. Yes. You just eat them by the handful. <laughs> I or just eat them by the handful. I I don't have enough impulse control to set aside the, the red ones until later. I mean, when I was a kid, I did. Really? Yeah. I I have, no. It just got. I think it got worse over over time though. All right. So this one appears to be a little squished and that's not surprising considering it went to my hometown and back with me on the weekend that's about 300 i think the 
This chocolate bar put on 350 kilometers. I like to highlight that I'm Canadian. This has some mileage in it. Some mileage, or, so it's a little melty, yeah. squishy. But I'm going to say it's Joe Louis. That's what I'm guessing. Joe Louis. Um, that's what you think it's going to taste like? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Funkier than a Joe Louis. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really nice. You have Really? Okay. Thank you. It's best not to pick out at first because you get both. Mm. Have you ever watched any unboxing case? candy videos? Like any of the um, people from Ireland try Canadian foods? No. Those are awesome. There's a, a brother and sister duo that do it. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Give it to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I will seriously eat the whole goddamn thing. <laughs> not allowed to curse on me. <laughs> It's just not excessively, so like, don't go on a fuck rant. <laughs> well, there goes my plans for the evening. Oh, we should have read about it. Did you read about it? Not. So I will read about it now. All right. Andy saves the day. Okay. <laughs> a chocoholic's dream come true. Rich, spongy layers of chocolate cake with an ooey gooey filling of smooth chocolate ganache. It's true. All of that is true. It just sort of yeah, it was, does it It was me. way better than a Joe Louis, for the record. And the white stuff in a Joe Louis was replaced with a nice fudge. I feel Almost like, like a chocolate syrup. Jeez. Oh, Jeez. It's, uh, it's pretty darn good. It's up and like for a packaged brownie too, sometimes mm. they can go either they, way. I, they can. They can that be dry very... flavorless or they can yeah, too big, too rich. rich. Yeah, yeah. I oh, had one of those recently. Oh, yeah. Independent mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go for a twist. Ooh. All right. Delicious vanilla cookies sandwiching a smooth layer of sweet cream. What could possibly be better? Well, apparently these. Ganai, what are they? Gana- Genova. Genova. It's almost like Genovia. I don't yeah. even know if Genovia is a real Genova. place. Is it uh, Geneva? Geneva. Geneva. Yeah, okay. Is it or was I think, it? You I know what? Know. Genovia was the fictitious place in Princess Diaries. You heard it from he, her first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if there's any Genovians out there, I'm sorry, but you're fictional. <laughs> you're fictional. Get out of here. Go back. <laughs> Yeah, my bike's been fixed. You can tell by all the bruises on my legs. Mm-hmm. But I got to play with kittens this weekend, and I got some kitten scratches. Worth it. Absolutely, kittens and motorcycles are totally worth it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, well, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not allowed to bring home any more of these ones. Mm-hmm. They're like arrowroot almost, mm-hmm. with the icing. I love arrowroot. Oh my Your god. pick. Oh, baby time for something salty. Let's go for the Conicos, the, the Moroccan bugles. Moroccan fromage gout bugles. A leader food. Leader food. Oh, there's not a stitch of English on this second. <laughs> not a single character a of single English, English people. Not a single character. Nope. It's French. Spanish and, or Spanish and something, I don't know, you know what? Mm. They're better than bugles. I don't like me at bugles. 100%. Yep. You know, one thing that... It's like a corn chip. Yes. Mmm. The flavor. I'll eat the whole, whole damn bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's for later when we have duties. <laughs> you heard it from Sassy Stacy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. What does it say about them? Okay. Conico's fromage. These crunchy cone shaped corn snacks are sugar are coated generously with a savory dusting of cheesy goodness. Cheese. Basically a dream come true mm-hmm. in your mouth. <laughs> I mean. That's cheesy goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. you're hilarious. I know I am. <laughs> Well, I want to try the sandwichy thing, uh, the perfect on-the-go snack. This delicious treat features two sponge cakes Ooh. sandwiched together by a layer of rich milk chocolate. One for me. Yeah. I think it's one. 
big one. So it's like sandwich, but two. But yeah, it's, like a, it's a giant cookie bar, which is something we don't have here. And it was like a squish declare. Stale chocolate half moon. Mm. I was the most excited for this one, and I'm so far the most disappointed with this one. You know what? Do I taste like licorice? Hmm? Like yeah, you do. This also tastes like a stale eclair from Tim Hortons. Mm. Canadian? Super. You know what I'm talking about. But it's, there's black licorice in there? Is that what really well tastes It does taste like it. But there are a couple other things that taste like black licorice. Like the bananas. And this. Anise, yeah, yes, exactly. Interesting. I'm just well, I might try it. <laughs> I mean, you'd still eat it if it was there. Like, it wouldn't be your first choice. But well, you... now that I love black decoration and anise. Mm -hmm. hmm. Interesting. I've never had it with a cake. All right, all right, all right. What's next? We got we got the chips and the baby chalk. Oh, buddy, let's do baby chalk. Baby chalk. This looks like a chocolate wafer dipped in chocolate. Yeah, all right, so the Biggie Duo Chalk, double the chocolate, double the fun. This inviting snack of highlights, this inviting snack highlights layers of dark chocolate cream between crisp vanilla wafers. Apparently, I'm just learning to read. Yes, and it's delightful. Oh my lord. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. I'm good now. I'll just keep going. No, we got one more. Setting the standard for all other savory, not it's savory. Setting the standard for all other savory snacks. These potato crisps have unique crunch that will have you coming back for more. We've included either kebab or cheese and onion flavor. Well, I'm glad we got the kebab. You taste kebab. We probably don't even know what kebab tastes like. That's true. <laughs> but we're, we just assume that Fair. it's going to taste like beef or chicken. Because that's all we have to offer. It kind of does taste like chicken though. <laughs> <clears throat> it tastes the way chicken smells. Like fresh from the oven chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Like a roasted chicken. Yeah. But with the skin. Mm. Interesting. Mm. On a scale of one to ten. I probably would have maybe six and a half or seven. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll shred some of the channel, I guess. Yeah, I'll save you after later. Probably have some in my boobs. All right, so now for the fun part. Let's rate them. Mm. All right. So what was your favorite? Oh my God. You really gonna make me choose? Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Just oh, a man. reminder of what we had. Just uh, yeah. what we had. <laughs> Before we came across stale Tim Hortons cakes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think that was your favorite. I honest. personally okay. think so too. Yeah. I mean, the Biggie Chalk was pretty good. It's pretty tasty, but it's basic. That was yeah. different. That was very different. Yeah. Something sweet. Because like when it comes to things, some salty and sweet things, yep. you, you almost like rate them using a different scale. Yes. Right? True. So for this, out of the sweets, um, this was definitely my favorite, nice. but I think it was the Conikers, yeah. Conicos that, uh, the, the, the Moroccan Eagles that. Yeah, yeah. I, I really liked the vanilla for the candy, like for the sweet stuff. This is interesting. Like I, I'm going to come back to this when my mouth doesn't taste like toothpaste soak because I did just brush my teeth. But yeah, I'm going with the Conicos for worth the salty as well. It was much better than than these. They were just like I don't even know, Mr. Noodle flavoring or something. 
It's weird. It's a weird one. But on it goes. You win. You're the only standalone. Unanimous, I believe the word I'm I believe for the is. word is unanimous. Woo woo! Well everybody, I hope you enjoyed our trip to Morocco as much as we did. Would you go there just for the snacks? 100%. Really? Okay. I mean, if it was an all expenses paid trip. Well, yeah, I guess. So <laughs> what she's saying is send me a one-way ticket. First class. First class. <laughs> I will not settle for anything less. And I've never been in first class, which is why. Because if I'm going to do this, I'm making it count. <laughs> <laughs> Damn fucking straight. <laughs> I get that. I can respect that. <laughs> <laughs> this is just my friend hanging out with us, so you can't find her anywhere else on the internet. Don't bother looking. Um, <laughs> Don't bother looking. <laughs> but you can find me, Sassy Stacy, at OnlyFans. Uh, sass, uh, yeah, Sassy Stacy H2H, Patreon, um, Head to the number two heels, and uh, Instagram, Head to Heels as well. Uh, like, and hit that subscribe button down below, ding the dinger, so you know when I'm posted. I might do, I'm very, very, very close to 50,000 subscribers right now, so I'm going to do a live stream when that happens. So keep your dingers dinged. Dingling. I mean, don't be a dingling. Ding the dinger. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. Sassy Stacy out. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I'm really glad that I spoke to me. <laughs>